Hello friends, this time we will try to make aluminum ion carbon super capacitor batteries. Why called as super capacitor? Because I am using no metal electrodes, both are carbon types. So I am using an ionic aluminum chloride as an electrolyte. So this will be my requirements. You can just see this is my homemade carbon plates. Able to see. Okay. For simplicity, I have attached, you know, plugged this tin sheet as a plug, and this I am assuming as positive and this as negative. This will be my one requirement. Then, for the positive, I am taking a polyester bag so that I can insert this electrode into this and fill with carbon black, graphite, and manganese dioxide traces of cobalt and lead in this. You can see my previous videos. There also I would have been used the same combination of metal oxides. So that after filling, I'll insert all that. I'll tie it, make it as a positive electrode. This as a negative. This is all the major requirement. Then, it in it in between, we have to keep the what you call barrier. No, this is ceramic, unwoven cloth. It is or pad you can call it as. So here the electrolyte will be absorbed. And in, it will be kept in between the electrodes. So this will be my container made through PVC board, and I have insulated well with the polythene sticker pay, st rolls. So this I put the label. All precaution I have taken it. So this will be my uh, metal oxide powder, graphite, carbon, manganese dioxide, then traces of lead and cobalt. This powder I am going to fill in the past electrode. Okay, so after filling in the positive electrode, I'll show you the finished electrode. Okay, after filling this graphite and carbon mix, you know, with manganese oxide, in the positive carbon plate inside this bag, I filled it, and slowly I tied using a ordinary twine paper, twine threads, just for safety. That's all. Make it you no know, shape. So any extra loose things will be made tight. So on the top also I have given an extra winding. So this becomes a positive electrode. This is our negative. So in between I have to keep a barrier. This will be our absorbent ceramic. Okay, after assembling like this we have to assemble and insert into this. So the two electrodes, carbon plates, are inserted into this. The positive carrying the graphite and carbon. Metal oxide. The negative is plain carbon plate. Okay. In between, we are arranging the ceramic pads. Now I am going to fill the electrolyte. What is the electrolyte? I am going to use this cheapest electrolyte, namely aluminium chloride urea. So I mix this in the proportion I have given. That is 1.3 parts aluminium chloride, one part of urea, and I dissolved. Carefully with 50 ml of 2.5 n dilute acid. So slowly the electrolyte aluminum chloride urea I am going to inject into this. So now I am injecting only 10 ml. This I have to. Now I have injected aluminum chloride urea electrolyte 60 ml into this. Still it keep it for saturate. At least I'll see what is the initial volt it is able to give. Because it's a capacitor, it will be only the minimum volt it will give. You will see it. So in front of you, I am going to keep this on positive, able to see, and we will connect the positive and negative. We will see what is the initial voltage. We will see what is the ampere also. Ampere. I have not charged it. This is all initial carbon carbon plate with aluminum chloride. Very slow, very feeble, okay. Just 40 50 milliamperes. Charge it at least for 5 minutes and see what is the volt and amperes. Now I am charging with the external DC at least is 6 volt and uh, 0.5 amps. I am charging now. I will go for 5 minutes or 10 minutes and after that we will see. Friends, after 50 so 1.64. Able to see, friend. 
you can see the motor running also. Okay, friends. You can also see what is the ampere. I'll connect this. So, from 300 to 200 milliamperes, it is able to give. Okay. If you like this video, you can click the button, share with your friends, you can comment, you can subscribe. Thank you.